Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do, I'm going to call it the weekly energy readings from the 2nd to the 8th of May 2022. I've just had one of those weeks where unexpected things have come up. I don't know how you've been this week, but unexpected things have come up for me this week that have just pushed my time behind schedule. So I'm going to use these readings for the weekly readings. In essence, they are top line. They won't be for everyone. So just take what resonates with you as always. We're looking at the potential or the energies that are around you for the next week or so, 2nd to the 8th of May 2022. So I wish you a wonderful weekend and let's get straight into these readings. Taurus, let's see what we have for you. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well, Taurus. This is the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. So let's see what we have for you. And remember, these readings won't be for everyone. Just take what resonates for you as always. Message for Taurus, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, your card has fallen out. Two cards. So we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Star. Princess of Cups, bottom of the deck. We have the Two of Pentacles. Prince of Cups. Yeah, I mean, Taurus, there's an energy here. The Ten of Wands. You know, it can be, it's coming up quite a bit this week. Uh, the Ten of Wands can be a burden, a burden that is built up over a period of time. And this is a ten. It's the full weight of that burden. And you have an opportunity here to put down that, those ones now, to release from that weight. Again, it's a choice or a decision. But this is an energy of wanting to release that weight and making room for new possibilities. So it, it feels in this energy here. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of things with this actually. <laughs> This, I mean, for some of you, this will be in your in a current relationship. For some of you, this could be a past thing, is what I'm getting. Um, interesting, uh, because you know this can this can just be past history. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind, Taurus. It feels for some of you, this is either about a current relationship, a weight, a burden, and this is that feeling of, I just want to be free of it now. I just want to be done with it. It's too much. Um, now, because the Princess of Cups is here, the Prince of Cups is here as well. For some of you, this could be a young person or a younger person, not limited to that, clearly. It can be in love, romance, relationships too. Um, and it feels like you have the opportunity because we have a heartfelt message. Somebody who who's hoping for the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change here. It feels quite significant. I mean, the page of cups, princess of cups or the page of cups. It could also be somebody giving you advice on this situation and what you should do. We do have the prince of cups and knight of cups. So male or female, this is somebody who is offering love, wearing their heart on their sleeve, expressing everything. Um, it's a pouring out, it's an outpouring of affection, you know, uh, with the hope of bringing positive change here, Taurus. So this could be anything from apology, um, someone expressing their love, and maybe even promising change in the process, because it feels in this energy, there's been a burden of some kind that has really built up. And there's a feeling of, I just want to liberate from the whole thing. Interestingly enough, whatever this offer is, there is some kind of decision to make because we do have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is tentative in the sense that, do I, don't I, will I, won't I? Shall I accept their offer or apology or gesture of some kind? Or do I, do I not do this? Do I just liberate from the whole thing? So this is the energy of not quite deciding yet, still toing and froing in the energy. The star card is a card of hope, faith, reasons to be optimistic. 
Uh, but it, it does require that kind of energy of just trusting. Let's do it. Let's accept it. Let's go for it. With the view of getting blessings and wish fulfillment on this on this experience but sometimes you just have to you know take somebody on the faith that they're offering this loving gesture and there's a decision to make in terms of whether you accept somebody's offer or not the fact that the star is here it does show that there's hope here there's hope on what they're offering real hope and optimism so if that helps you that is a positive thing now Taurus I did I the other thread that I was getting past history and releasing from old baggage might be stopping you from embracing new love interestingly enough because these energies can symbolize new love now this could be like I said some kind of someone giving you advice encouragement maybe um the Prince of Cups is an offer of love, so this could be somebody new asking you out. Now, the Two of Pentacles is that hesitant energy because you've already experienced baggage from the past. And there's an opportunity to release from old baggage now I'm getting because somebody new is, is it feels, is asking you out. And this is the energy of will I, will I, won't I, do I, don't I. Somebody who might not feel ready for it. Somebody who might not be open or wanting to be vulnerable, you know, in terms of love, romance, relationships again, or feel ready. But in this energy, you're just being told you need to have hope here on this situation because this, le this leads to something really beautiful. It's a blessing energy. Um, that's the advice for you, Taurus, it feels this is a blessing. Whatever this is, it feels like you just need to have faith. Uh, there's faith that's needed, but it's leading to wish fulfillment is what I have for you. Let's pull you a final card. And yes, this, the Prince of Cups can be love, romance, relationships. I mean, this can be sometimes linked with friendship or family members. I feel if it's to do with a baggage thing, it probably is likely to be love. Um, yeah. So take what resonates. Final message for Taurus. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've got hope again. We have hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation to a positive one. Yeah. A real feeling of hope with that we have shine from within looks are only skin deep true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine this is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty that's what I have for you Taurus I hope you enjoyed the reading found it useful, helpful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.